spaghetti. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is a makeup tutorial on this look. It's a bit of a cherry cola, kind of plummy hue inspired makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, there's lots of lashes, you know, contouring, highlighting, you know the drill. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and please enjoy the video. So I've just put on a little bit of the Napoleon lip service to hydrate my lips and we're going to get straight into primer. As always, Benefit Professional to fill in my pores over my cheeks. My foundation looks so much nicer around this area when I have the Professional on. And then to prime the rest of my face, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This one's a really good for oily skin. I wouldn't recommend to put a mattifying primer around your eyes because it might dry out the eye area. And now moving on to foundation, I'm using the Clinique 2-in-1 Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This one's a really nice full coverage. It's a really beautiful colour for my fake tan. It's got a bit of a yellow undertone. The only thing I don't like so much is that the applicator only puts such a small amount out. So I feel like I have to do this like 600 times. And I want a really dewy finish, so I'm adding some liquid luminizing drops. These ones are from Priceline, and the brand is Astralis. It's called Liquid Strobe, and I love the little droplet. Get it, girl. Using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to go ahead and start working this into the primer. And making sure it's all nice and blended. I love this foundation. It's such a beautiful full coverage without being cakey. So I got this new Bobbi Brown palette and you've got all of your corrective concealers. And then if you flip it over, these are all of their stick foundations, which you can use for cream contouring and cream highlighting as well. So the thing that I mostly have found that I'm using out of this palette are these salmon pinky kind of undertone concealers because I really like to pop them on first to color correct the darkness under my eyes and then I go ahead and use an actual concealer over the top. So I'm going to go in with um, peach and just pressing it right up under the eyes and making sure I get right in these inner corners. I forgot to mention the shade in the foundation is 8 Golden Neutral. And I'm going to actually show you how I use one of my favorite drugstore concealers. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I actually quite like it in the shade, um, I don't think I've got it here, but in the shade 20 for concealing my under eyes. And this is the shade 30 for cream contour. Just a small amount under the chin. And we're going to let that kind of marinate and just settle in. And to cream highlight, we're going to go in with the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer in the shade Ivory. And you can see that this is definitely a few shades lighter than the foundation. And you can see that the cream contour is definitely a few shades darker. So that's what's going to give you the ultimate contrast. Right down the bridge of the nose, not that I ever get this straight. God, I've been craving soft drink lately and I just, it's just not bloody good for you, doll. But I just gotta have a Coke Zero, doll. Zero the calories, zero sugar. It's basically just air. You feel a burn when it goes down. That's when you know that something's really healthy. So we're gonna blend this out. Small duo fab brush, little circular motions to blend out the contour. You don't want to take this down because it's actually going to have the opposite effect if you drag it too low and make your face look a bit droopy. And you want to stop when you meet about the middle to the outer corner of your eye. And you're really just gently buffing it because you don't want to move your foundation underneath it. And contouring isn't a generic thing. So if you don't have a lot of space between your brow and your hairline, then don't put contour there because it's going to even minimize that space even more. So because I've got quite the large five head, I can do this. I'm going to use my Morphe E8. I absolutely love this brush. I'm going to dampen it with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Gosh, this is such a good combo for a bloody drugstore. I think each of these are like $10. You guys know that I love the Laura Mercier. Secret translucent, secret brightening powder. 
Just going to get a little eyeshadow brush. And now to set my cream contour, I'm going to be mixing these two shades here and tap off the excess and just pulling it back into the hairline. And now we're going to bronze up the face using the MAC Give Me Sun. And we are just gently applying this to everywhere that the sun would hit our face. So forehead, the cheeks. So this is going to soften our contour on our cheeks and give us an overall kind of bronzy glow, darker, cool toned to contour the schnoosh. Then this has to go from the top of the nose into the socket of the eye. So this is the ColourPop. They're like a dip brow pomade. And I always use two shades to give a nice contrast to the brow. So this is the first shade, which is the darker shade. It's called Bangin' Brunette. So you can see I'm just building up the tail of the brow. I'm just extending it slightly, brushing. And now I'm working on the arch using really light feathered strokes. I'm happy with how defined the outside arch is. And now I'm going into the much lighter color, Blondie, and it's a really light ash blonde. And you can see I'm just drawing little hair-like strokes and creating a nice soft squared off edge to the beginning of the brow. So now I'm using the MAC 24 hour extend eye base. You only need a really small amount of this product and what it does is it creates a really tacky base and then you can just go right over the top with any concealer You can just use the Morphe E8 to blend it out. And now we're going to set the entire lid with Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette. And highlighting under the brow bone with MAC Nylon. This just gives the most amazing pop. Going in with this shade here to warm up the socket of my eye. So just tapping off the excess, we're going to start creating our socket. And this is the Morphe 35R palette. Now to really deepen up the colour, this plummy shade right here, just on the same brush is fine. Be a little bit more precise with the placement right in the centre of the crease. Just using a clean fluffy brush to diffuse the edges. And now I'm going to take Bitten, a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and we're really going to pack this into the outside space just here. You can see that's a really amazing like a cherry cola. I'm going to go into well, the camera just cut out here so I used that really pretty lilac shade it's called Beyond Fresco and I just patted that in the center of the mobile lid and I blended it softly inwards towards the nose. So I'm now taking Tempera and then we're just going to blend this from the inner corner up to join and slightly overlap these purple hues and now using a touch of Vermeer so this is the Napoleon matte eye ink liquid liner as you can see I was too busy concentrating to explain the product Bloody liquid liner ran. Just tidying this up with some concealer. Okay, now we are going to go under the eyes and we're basically doing everything that we just did on top. Making it nice and smoky. And then taking the deeper plum. And then just highlighting the inner corner with tempera like so. Now we're doing a quick coat of the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and then I'm going to go in with some Lily Lashes. I love her lashes. don't know whether to put liner like on the inner rim at the bottom or not but I don't want to make my eyes like too drag queen here. <laughs> it's a bit too late for that don't you think. So the Lily Lashes that I'm going to be using are in the style Miami. Okay so I've got my lashes on and the eyes are now done 
and we're gonna finish off the cheeks oh shit jesus so this is the morphe 9n blush palette so i'm going to be using the sixth color and make sure you tap off the excess because this can be quite bright oh i love that that's so pretty what do you guys think do you think i need some eyeliner on my inner rim i think i do i'm feeling a bit starry eyed and i'm going to be using my favorite combination of powder highlights soft and gentle Ofra highlight in blissful with a mac 217 because we want this to be nice and precise so now i'm just going to set everything in place with my urban decay cooling and hydrating setting spray savvy chestnut model rock moroccan goddess liquid lip i love this color And that, of course, brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys loved it. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. All of the products that I've used will be listed in the description box below. If you're not already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That is at Rachel McIntosh MUA. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.